Hey, party people. Um, this is Jeremy from Jumble Live Plays Games. So today we're here with a quick little live stream here. Um, this is my son, Dad and the Dude, Amari. Hi. Hi. And uh, he's a six-year-old, about to be a seven-year-old. And what we're going to do is play a game uh, that actually is listed for, uh, for kids a little bit older. It's Borderlands, Tiny Tina's Robot Tea Party. Um, it's a game for two to five players, plays in about 15 minutes. It is a game by XYZ Labs. Um, it takes, I mean, like I said, it's like a slap fest, basically. <laughs> um, you're going to be playing cards that kind of slap uh, players around and, and stop them from making robots. And that's what we're going to do is today is make robots and try to stop each other from making robots. Uh, my son's pretty energized. <laughs> we played it at game night uh, this Thursday, and it was pretty fun. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you how to play, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and get to playing. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and uh, hopefully you do this. Uh, you guys stick around. Uh, we're just going to play. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Why don't you wait for the person who's watching? All right. Here we go. I'm going to pull you up. Wink. All right. Wink. So, what is this game about? Okay, so it is, like I said, it's kind of a slap fest. What you're trying to do is build a robot. Um, and you're starting to stop other pe players from building a robot. And this is how you do it. Um, there are five different robots. So you have um, the claptrap, the regular claptrap. You have the gentleman robot. You also have the wizard robot and the sheriff and the pirate. And what you're trying to do is build basically your robot. It has to have two arms that match. A bottom and a, a hat and this is your middle one so players in the beginning will draft uh, their regular robot like this um, and then they can choose which robot they want of course you're playing with people they just want to pick their own you know whatever and you are you know building this stuff now how do people stop you from doing that is they stop you by playing ones that don't match onto your on your cop on your claptrap so there's ways to get around that to stop other people from doing it, but they also have wild pieces that you can play um, as well to kind of fulfill certain slots. Okay, so there's also that option as well. Um, you do also have cards that you can play, um, and they have some of the nice little thematic characters from uh, the, the universe. So that's really a cool part to it too. You also have ones, uh, these ones actually have bonuses that you can play on off turns and scrap cards from your own spot. So you have ones that you can play on your turn as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. You're going to get your, you're going to kind of sackle back between, uh, fourth and back between that. And you're going to keep your card at five, your hand at five cards. And whoever's the first to complete this process wins the game. Um, let me go ahead and shuffle this stuff up. And then, uh, Mari, which one do you want to be? Uh, I am going to be the sheriff. The sheriff. Okay, so you got the sheriff over here. Uh, he's going to be the sheriff. You're going to have to come a little closer here. I'm going to bring this back a little bit, but you're going to have to come a little closer because that's where you're going to build your guy. And then I'm going to be the gentleman. All right? Boom. They can see you right here. Okay? And then uh, let me get this stuff shuffled. Get him. Get us both three cards. Yep. All right. All right. Now, they have the first thing you can do on your turn is build. So you can start building your own claptrap. You also can discard. And here's a cool little part. You can discard your own cards. So you can discard cards that match the body part. So you can discard two arms. Or you can discard cards that have the same theme. So if they're all themed, uh, you know, they're all themed claptraps, then you can discard those and then actually get cards back. Okay. So here we go. He's going to get three cards. Here we go, bud. One. Two. No peeking three. on the camera. All right. right. No peeking. Jeez. No Jeez. peeking Jeez. on the Louise. computer. Louise. Okay. I'm not peeking on the computer. Okay. Did I give you two or three? Here we go. Two. One. It's three. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go first and just show you how the turn goes. Um, I have, I'm just going to show you what I have. Mari, look away, sir. Look away, sir. So I have these three cards. Okay. And as you can see, I don't really have much. But I can't play this card. So let's say I just play this one here. It's called Take a Spin. And what I'll do is I'll reveal the top seven cards and attach one part to my clap track. All right, so here we go. I'm going to play that. I take out seven cards. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be nice if I could take 
I'm going to take this wild. Okay, even though I could take this and put it on there, I'm going to go ahead and just bank on the fact that I'll find other ones here. Okay, so there we go. No peeking, that's right. No peeking. Everybody's saying no peeking, Amari. And it says, attach one part to my clap drawer or put a card in your, in your hand and the rest go on the scrap. Scrap means discard pile. So I already have one arm and that's a wild arm. So I'm going to leave that right there. Okay, cool. And then I get to draw back up the five cards. So then you have five cards. One, two, three, four. All right, sir. What are you doing? Um, you can put, put pieces on your, on your, on your, uh, on your claptrap if you have it. If not, remember you can discard. You can discard pieces so you can, you know, get rid of things. Can you discard, like, bonus cards or anything or uh, action cards? Yeah, you can discard. It says you can discard cards uh, as long as they have the same skin type or you may discard any action cards by themselves. What about the bonus action right. cards? Right, yeah, those are action cards. Okay. Yeah, so you can discard that card or you can use it. Stop looking I'm at just like asking. That. I'm just saying. You can scrap a card for me, too. Okay. All right. Here we go. You drop the five. So sometimes turns can really be anticlimactic, which is which kind of stinks. Um, but yes. that's kind of how the game works. You got to get cards to, to even be in the take that realm. So, um, which, like I said, sometimes it doesn't work in your favor. Let's see here. If you can hear me, please make sure. Yeah, just let me know if you can hear me properly. We're, we're, uh, we're working on a lot of uh, different equipment. Okay. Today. All right. All right. All right. I found a way to win, actually. Okay. Now, my son is like me. He's quite the trash talker. Okay, so here we go. You can't look at my cards, sir. I'm not looking. Okay, so I have these cards here. Um, as you can see, I don't have much. Okay. Um, bay, I may attach a part to any claptrap. So you know what I'm going to do? Just to throw this man off, I'm going to put a party hat on this guy from the claptrap. <laughs> All right? So <laughs> I'm already messing up there. Okay? And uh, we're going to... Go ahead and do that, which kind of slows him down. I'm going to discard. I'm going to discard this card because it doesn't mean much. This is actually one of those cards that you play when you're when somebody's messing with you guys and you have a whole bunch of pieces that don't belong. This is how you completely get rid of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and discard that and then draw back up the five cards. Okay. All right, sir. You got a strategy in mind? You got five cards? Okay. Uh, yep. All right, what are you going to do? You got to let people know what you're doing. Uh, All right, oh, you're not I playing can't... anything to your robot or oh. mine? Or mine. You can play something bad to mine. Well, you can play something thinking... good to yours or bad to mine. I was going to... Uh... Because that's part of the game. Is... Play the dumpster dive. Okay, so play the dumpster dive. Mari... One thing I, I think this game does a really good job of is teaching kids uh, kind of how to play with conflict. And he's not the best conflict person just yet. He's kind of like goal oriented. So It says from the scrapyard. Yeah, this is the scrapyard. Oh, from the scrapyard. What did it say? Choose a card from the scrapyard. Lord. Here I am. Choose a card from the scrapyard. This is the scrapyard. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. Choose a card from the... Don't put that by your deck. There you go. Go ahead and look. Yeah, go ahead and look. All right. So yeah, some of these things he's learning the conflict part. So that's the most that's the most important part. You got the card you want? All right. Okay. Don't put that with your hand. Don't put the entire discard part with your hand. Otherwise, you get confused. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. Now you can discard cards that you don't want. Uh. Yep. You can also oh, put. Right. You can also put uh, when you have a chance. Do you have cards you want to discard? Yeah. All right. So he can discard cards that are from the same type. Okay. So apparently he's not a pirate. He wouldn't want to keep these pirate cards. So he discards them together. Okay. All right. Mister Murray, not 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 having the best cards here. Let's see. Wait, right. Dad. You have to take that arm off. No, I don't. Because you were just showing the people what to do. No, I have that wild card. And I'm going to put this gentleman arm on there. Look at my guy. He's looking good. All right. Um, let's see here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one card. 
It's a pirate card, and then I'm going to draw back up to, to five. Okay, and you got little pieces here, like, oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at my card, sir. All right. Okay, your turn, sir. Aww. You should have a big turn coming up here. What do you, you you keep playing these action cards? Don't you have cards you can play to your your no, robot? No, I do not. Okay, well, why don't you play a card to my robot? That's not good. <laughs> That's part of the game. <laughs> part of the game is messing me up. You can play any card that doesn't even match with my my aunt, my uh, guy. There you go. Boom. So now I, I'm a gentleman with a pirate hat. All right. Okay. So here we go. You can get now. You've done that. Now you can discard, or you you can discard uh, action cards or a combination of stuff. Or can I and, still play another card? Uh, no. So you can either play. You can build to my machine, and mess it up, or you can build to your machine. Uh. So you just build to my machine, and now you can discard cards or draw back up to five. All right. So let's see here. Just for the sake of it all, I am going to not do anything. Although, as you can see, I do have components that would help me. Um, not going to entirely pick on the young man. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Um, let's see here. I'm going to. I'm sure people are like, don't, don't, don't take it easy on him. But I, I, I have to a little bit because um, he doesn't understand to take that part of it too much. One two. All right. Cool. All right. It's your turn, sir. Oh, gosh. I you also have, when you have uh, scrap, you have to scrap and get rid of this because this doesn't match you, you at some how, point. Could you, you just pick it no, off? No, you, play, the, you play one of those cards that says okay. scrap or whatever. Yeah. So scrap all parts from your claptrap. Yep. Scrap all parts from your claptrap. There you go. And then it says you may attach a part immediately, so you can attach a part if you want. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Stop do it. looking at my No, deck. go ahead and play. I'm <laughs> go ahead and play. This is a wild hat. Oh, look at that. This is a wild little <laughs> wild little hat. How about that? I'm gonna put that right there. Okay. Let's see. We'll pull you out a little bit so everybody can see. Anybody have any questions on this one? Because I want to make sure I answer them. Uh, it was a very easy game to play. I played it at Origins uh, over at the booth, and they're gonna be at Gen Con as well. Um, it's also not an expensive game at all. It's like 20 bucks. Let's see here. Um, did she draw up the five? Oh, uh, did I draw up the five? Oh, God. No. All right. All righty. Let's see. Take a card at random from another player's hand. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see here. So I have a wild. I'm going to see if, what I can do here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this little bottom here. I got my little gentleman bottom. So as you can see, I am have a gentleman bottle with a pirate hat on it. Um, that's not going to work. But I am one pa space away from winning the game. Um, and he can't cover um, spots that are already covered by me. Okay, so he couldn't put something that doesn't match on top of me. Um, I'm just going to put that in there and take a card. Five. All right, cool. That's my hand here. All righty. Okay. I think we got it here. Let's move this. We move that out of the way. All right. You got your bottom. Grab a card. Okay. All right. Not discarding anything. Uh, what? No, you're not discarding anything. What did you say? You're not discarding anything? Well, I will discard something. Well, you got to discard before you... Before you... All right. You got to discard before you... Play something Until on your you... claptrap? Yeah, you got a lot. Okay. All right. Now, you got to discard after you play something on your claptrap. That's what I did. I played oh, okay. something on your claptrap. All right. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. Because you're not supposed to be looking. <laughs> Dad is trying to cheat. Let Dad cheat a little bit. Jeez. No, no cheating. All right, all right, all right. I'm about to win here. Oh, oh wow, really, Mr. Trash Talker? Okay. Um, I'm gonna play this card called Swipe. Now, the card over here in the top left, there's gonna be ones called Bonus. Um, you can play them basically at any point to kind of interrupt turns or things like that. Um, as they say, it's 
then the top left cutter, it can be played um, at any point, okay. uh, even as a reaction. So I'm going to go ahead and just play this right now. So you're going to put your hand out, face down. Yep. You can even shuffle them. So I'm gonna, he's going to shuffle his hand. I'm shuffling it for him. And then I'm just going to take a random card out, and it's going to be that card right there. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is, party people. Let's see. Oh, well, yeah, that didn't work out too well. All right. That wasn't really that, that helpful at all. All okay. right. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and discard two of these pirate cards because I don't like them at all. I'm going to go ahead and fill my hands. Because that was really a useless round. Oh, wow. That really didn't end up being useful at all. <laughs> all right. That was kind of a useless round. Okay, go ahead, buddy. All right. I'm going to place that down. I'm going to discard these because they're both hats. Oh yeah, looks like I'm gonna do something that's gonna All be right. real good. There we go. Daddy, you don't know what's coming for you. Whoa, I don't know what's coming for you. Look at you, you big trash talker, you. Just like your dad. Here we go. All right, All right here let's we go. go. Let's go. Let's go. All don't, right. Don't, please don't tell me you have the sheriff arm. Go. Do you have the sheriff arm? I can't tell you. Okay, well you gotta play, right? It's your turn. No, I just did my turn. Oh, I you just did your turn? Part. Okay, then. Guess what? I'm going to make this very, very hard for you, unfortunately, sir. Um, because I'm going to give you, and I don't think this matches what you're supposed to be doing, so I'm going to give you a pirate arm. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to give you a pirate arm. How do you feel about your pirate arm? Well, then nobody's going to win because yeah, there's no you can, way to you win. You can scrap a card. You can scrap a card and play a, play a card that says scrap a card. Yeah, but you, they, there's the only one card that can do that. No, you have to take there's, there's actually a pieces. couple cards. There's a couple cards. Okay. Um, Let's see. I might have to. I'm okay, a, that's it. I know what to do. Okay. Okay. Here we All go. right, let me. Okay, hold wait, on Wait, is it still hold my turn? No, 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 no. It's not uh, my turn? And you may uh, let's see, discard any combination of cards by themselves or any combination of parts if you have more than five. Okay, so I have these cards here. I need to get rid of something. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this wizard. Um, and then I'm going to hopefully get something that can help. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to definitely use that party. I'm going to use that one. Okay, here we go. You know, Dad, I'm angry right now, but I Thank think... you so much. I'm gonna pin, Lauren, I'm going to pin that up so that people can see it. Um, this was not a setup party, people. I just decided to make sure I saw Lauren over there. She's from uh, XYZ Labs, and uh, I talked to her over at uh, Origins. And, uh, yeah, said I was going to stream it. Here we go, bud. What you got? All right, Dad. What you got? Bring the pain. Bring the pain. Scrap a part from any claptrap, and you may attach a part this turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you got? I got the sheriff arm. Oh, my God. I win. I win. Nope. Oh, my God. Show <laughs> me. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, won. my God. Okay, I win. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Mari, what's what's going on? What's wrong with your robot? You didn't win. Yes, I did. You got a gentleman foot. You got no, a uh, you, can't you got a that. Uh, you got a uh, a claptrap arm. You can't. Arm. You can't do that. <laughs> you cheater! <laughs> I already placed all my stuff. You can't. You can't play silver. All right. So wild parts count, and uh, he played. And this is exactly what you want to do in this game. So I'm gonna kind of pan in a little bit here, so you can see. Um, so he won. And I'll tell you how he won. And this is exactly what, you know, why I think this is good for kids, too, because it teaches a little take that. Uh, what he did was is he played, he played a card, and this wonderful card right here, Bring the Pain, is how you get rid of cards that are here. You scrap the cards that you have, put them in your discard pile. But what he did that really worked out is this card also gives you a combination to play a card, and there you go. Now, in reaction, I could have played something like Party File that says, Stop any card from uh, being played. And then I scrapped that card. I kept this card on the side so you can get an idea of how it works. But, yeah, this is just, you know, just kind of, a, like I say, a quick little strategy game. Um, and with that, we're going to talk about 
cool. a little bit what we like about the game. So Mari won, you know. So let's go ahead and talk about why we like this game so much. Here we go. All right, Mr. Amari, you want to stand up here? Yep. Okay. So what do you like about Tiny Tina's Robot Tea Party? What do you like about it so much? Well, it's, like, super easy to discard cards, and you can actually get, like, real cool bonus cards that you can spin the wheel or get anything from the discard. Okay. Or the... uh, you can get anything from the scrapyard, or you can, or you can get anything on the draw. Okay. So, do you pile. like the do you like the art in the game? Well, yeah. Okay. Do you like some of the strategy? So it seems like you like the strategy too, right? And I like that you get to build your robot. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I think the theme for this game, although it says, uh, you know, it says a little bit older, so it says uh, 13 years old. It's really just because Borderlands is Borderlands. Um, and of course, he would never play Borderlands. I wouldn't play it. Let him play that game. It's absolutely too violent and the swearing and things like that. But overall, this can be played by a six-year-old. He played that game night with us. Worked out really well. It plays in 15 minutes. And uh, you know, other other than if you're not into like a lot of what I call slap fighting, which basically means turn by turn, you can you're just basically trying to undo what the other person did. And it works out. It actually doesn't feel like you can't progress in the game. It just it's just going to be a battle. If you're playing at five five players i think this is going to be really crazy and chaotic but we played four player it worked still hit that 15 minute mark um this is tiny tina's borderlands tiny tina's robot tea party i do recommend this game um it's not going to blow you away but the price point is great um if you love borderlands theme it's it's there enough right it's clap traps um and uh, i just think it's a good one to have and it's actually it travels well too which is something i really appreciate um so yeah just give it a go um, and give it a look. I'm sure you won't be disappointed, honestly. it's You just saw what it is. I'm sure you got a good idea. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And as you can see, you can get it at tinytinagames.com. All right, party people, that is Dad and the Dude. I'll be back later to stream something else uh, more adult-like. And uh, with that, Mario, you want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye.